I like Lexington. It's an amazing place. Do you ever like just chew on your lip? Excuse me. Come Hello. On, <laughs> they just ran over here to surrender. <laughs> Not even an hour ago, she was furious about the Cabot family. And then she starts murdering people at surrender. Just murdering people. Oh, oh my God, Darlene. Sends us something wrong. Oh goodness. Oh, they have a base on top of the bridge. Looks dead to me. Oh, he's dead. You got him, dude. Valkyrie actually has good aim. You know, she's a former army brat. Unlike unlike you, who can't hit the broadside of a barn, and Darlene, who can't hit everything around the barn. Okay, are you, why are you using a scope on there? So I can see the enemy that I'm missing. Ugh. You're the kind of person, and I mean this, I mean this with all, with all love. Uh, Much love. I'm sure, I'm sure. Much love. Show me your love. But you are the kind of person that puts a scope on there and then doesn't zero it, and you're just confused as hell as to why you're not hitting anything. I used my Kentucky windage to fix it! Valkyrie, you said they were dead, you lied! Et voila! Oh, I, I like that I've burned blast. through almost 400 rounds of ammo in just the last, like, 20 minutes. Yo, what are you guys guarding? Curious. I keep seeing the bipod legs on that. And, whoa! For some reason, my brain is going, they have a 240 Bravo, and it, that, that's not what that is. <laughs> it's a Dragnov. Mm -hmm. But I just see the bipod, and I instantly, for some reason, assume it's a 240. Only 240s can have bipods! I, that's, I, and I know that's not the case. And here comes the three-pointer. Do it, yeah! Off the backboard, complete failure. Ooh. Nope, he hit me in the butt. That's a foul. I get two points for free. Four points for free. That's not how basketball works. I actually, you know what? I don't know how basketball. Yellow works. card. Offsides penalty. Take care of my rats. <laughs> They're coming from the ground. They're coming from the pool. How the hell did the mole? How was he brute? You know what? <laughs> See weird stuff every day. Yep, yep. That didn't phase me. Um, hi. Hey, buddy. You here to help? My friend Jack's in trouble. Sure, we just got here, but we can help. Great. Now, before I open this door, I gotta ask. Who are you? And can I trust you to help me? What? I'm not sure what you want our help with. You first. You tell me what your name is, buddy. Don't have a name. I'm sort of borrowing a friend's. You can call him Jack. <laughs> I guess by that logic, I'm not Jack. Or maybe I am? I don't know anymore. The point is, I could be either. I just need to know if you're going to help me save him. Okay, not Jack. What in the hell are you talking about? Good, good. Confusion is a good thing. Trust me. <laughs> what? We'll figure it out once we get inside. <laughs> All you need to know is Jack is in trouble and the clock is ticking. Tick, tick, tick. Okay. Well, I guess let's go into the diner. Well, before we begin, let's do a little roll call, if you don't mind. What? If you're here, say you're here. Aunt Patty. Here. Bobby Crane. Here. Arthur Dean. Present. Good. Now that everyone's present and accounted for, here's the deal. This man here is a synth. He's also my prisoner. Now, if you're all wondering why I've locked you inside, well, it's not to keep you in. It's to keep the Institute out. That's right. They got men all over the Commonwealth looking they for this son of a bitch. So Dude. I'd appreciate it if you just showed a little patience while we rest up. Come morning, we'll be over your skin and out of your hair. But aren't synths dangerous? Why not just shoot them? Sure, I could do that. Just cut the damn red wire and let him die. But then who's gonna explain to the scientists over at the facility why their fancy synthetic android is nothing more than a lifeless doll? Um, See, I need him intact so that they can poke and prod and do whatever it is science-y types do to their guinea pigs. Except you've got the wrong guy, Jack. Or should I say, the wrong Jack guy. And here's your proof oh right God. there. There's two of them. That's right. Two jacks, one synth. Yeah, but he's not the synth. I am. Well, you're certainly as ugly as he is. But short of shooting you dead, I don't suppose you have any proof. Not really. You can open us up, but chances are you'd find the same bones. He's right. I heard the Institute makes exact replicas. Right down to the teeth. Are you kidding me? Jesus. You shouldn't have come, Jack. Now they know. 
You know how it is, Jack. I just couldn't leave you to die, either. That'd be a little too heavy, even for me. Well, stick me in a jar and call me Dill. This is what I call a real fucking pickle. Oh, God. <laughs> now what are we gonna do? It's simple. We lock this place down until we figure out who's got the nuts and who's got the bolts. And I have a feeling this scabber over here can help us. You, come over here. Why did you have to do roll call when there's only four of you? Jack's a really good guy. He doesn't deserve any of this. You know this man? Is what he's saying true? Is he a synth? No, no, my whole life. <laughs> I just met him. I have no idea. Wow, you're about as useful as tits on a bloat fly, aren't you? How about this? Why don't you interrogate them for me? I'll be standing here watching you do it. Now, I've got my own opinion, but let's see if we can't come to a consensus. I just walked in here. Why would you trust me? We're going through with this, but who is your boss? I'm freelance, partner. Selling sense to anyone who will take them. Railroad, institute, whoever. It all comes down to who will pay the most caps. In this case, it's a bunch of eggheads out west. Okay, who is the synth? And what do you know about him? Who, Jack? All I know is what I've heard. One day they say he just started acting different. All cold and unemotional-like. Well, if that doesn't sound like a synth, I don't know what does. But then those same people started saying Jack went back to his normal self. Which got me thinking, maybe the two of them were working together. Working in shifts, more or less. But there was only one way to find out. So one day, I walked in his house, smacked him with the butt of my gun, and left a note for the other Jack. Wasn't sure if I was crazy, leaving a note for the guy I kidnapped. But, seeing as there's a Tweedledee and Tweedledum here, I'd say my hunch was on the button. Is, okay, is it this, a... this whole thing it seems incredibly convoluted and strange, and you seem like a terrible person, Russell. But again, we're just gonna roll with this for now. What the hell is this place? I mean, other than just another burned-out husk of a building. Nothing special, that's for sure. Just another Commonwealth shit stop run by Art and his auntie. Alright, I have no other questions. Good, then you can stop bothering me and start questioning them. You find out which one is the synth, but there's one condition. Don't hurt him. Not a scratch, you hear? The contract I have specifically states they're to be delivered undamaged. Oh, somebody ordered a synth, huh? All Never, right. ever trust a synth. Maybe you're a synth. We don't know you. I honestly don't know what to believe. It's true, he's been acting different, but is he a synth? That just sounds so far-fetched. To be honest, I didn't believe it when he said Jack was a synth. But now? I mean, there's two of them. One of them has to be a fake, right? What if they're just twins? What if it's like The Prestige and he's just been pretending? None of us have seen that movie, so we wouldn't understand. I've heard it since replacing people, but never moving in with them. Either they're both working for the Institute, or they're not. Well, wow, you're a fat load of help. Start from the beginning, what happened? Diner was open, same as usual. Then Russell comes in with Jack, saying he's a scent, then we had to lock everything down. It wasn't long after before you two showed up, and you know the rest. I need whatever information you have. Useful information. Useful information. Not the information that I know, which is of no use to anyone but myself. Like that Chester A. Arthur is the 32nd president of the United States. It's 31st, actually. Is it 31st? Yeah. Garfield's 32nd. Not that, like, James Garfield was the 32nd president of the United States. That doesn't help anybody but me. Actually, I think he was 33rd. You're just fucking with me now, yes, aren't you? Yes, I am! <laughs> the Jack I knew as a kid was always... A little weird. But he started to mellow out as he got older. I'm talking 16, 17 years old. Adult Jack's always been pretty normal, I guess, but maybe that just means the sense got to him young. All right, fine. I gotta talk to other people. Sure thing. Never, ever trust a You've sense. said that twice now, Jack! It doesn't matter which one you ask. Jack and I will give you the same answer. But if you choose wrong, this bounty hunter will come back and finish what he started. Which means the best solution is to kill the hunter and let us go free. Hey man, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Well, I'm not a synth, but I can't speak for Jack. He claims we're twins. Given he hasn't tried to replace me, I've chosen to believe him. Either way, you only have two options. Take Jack, or kill the bounty hunter. If you choose me, he'll come back for the other Jack once he finds out I'm human. Two Jacks. This Ever is crazy. trust a synth. 
Right. All right. Uh, Jack. I think there's a way out of this without anyone getting hurt. I'm open to suggestions. That empathy you're showing is quite human-like. Technically, it's a synth emotion, but you would know. Anyways, here's my plan. The bounty hunter said we're no good to him damaged, right? So what if we damaged ourselves? You shoot Jack, I shoot non-Jack, and no one has to die. Peace through violence. Just not too much violence. Or else. So uh, you want us to, like, break your legs? I, but you shoot Jack, I he shoots not. So... Are you gonna shoot yourself? I'm sorry, I... I that's what it sounded like to me. Can we refer to you as Jack 1 and Jack... Go on, hurt him. But make it a flesh wound. Kill him, and you'll probably just make me angry. Fine. I'm Never, darling. ever I'm trust a synth. I'm darling. Yeah, so... Now what the hell did you go and do that for? Did I not say explicitly the goods weren't to be damaged? That was an accident. A gun misfire, he's so clumsy. You know what, actually, I don't take any freaking orders from you, buddy. No, apparently you take him from that idiot over there. But I guess that doesn't matter now. That synth was my property, and you broke it. The only question now is how you're gonna pay for it. I'd say 2,000 caps is enough to make us square. How do you want to handle this? I'm not paying. Well, then we got a problem. Because then I'm gonna have to take it from you by force. And maybe that was your play all along, but if you kill me, you gotta kill everyone else, too. He's right. They think we're working with the Institute. We can't leave any witnesses. Hear that, y'all? If you want to keep your sorry asses among the living, I suggest you grab your guns. Heads up. Put your guns down and don't fire! Don't... Fine! Murder spree it is! We're working for the Institute today! That is what happens when you threaten me. Jack, I still can't believe you came back for me. Sure, that's what brothers do, isn't it? But you could have carried on Jack's life by yourself. No one would have been the wiser. Not true. I would have known. And besides, I'm too lazy to do your job myself. <laughs> That's just about the only thing you've said that makes sense. So what now? We can't stay here. It's only a matter of time before word gets out. Doesn't matter to me. I go where you go. You can always blame any murder on a raider attack. Jack approached me about a year ago, told me he was my long lost twin brother. It was a surprise to say the least. He did bring up a very valid point. You can blame anything on Raider Attack. I guess so, which is what happened here, right? Uh, Darlene, there's things called plates. <laughs> you should try them. What are you eating? Is that just a steak? It's a steak. Uh, I thought it was a washcloth for a second, because <laughs> the washcloths kind of look like steaks. Yeah. I'm sure we'll find one if we look around long enough. Um, I, want, I want to see what the other options are. No, yeah, all right. So let me, let me... Life is so much easier when you're numb. <laughs> okay, well... Alright, alright. Let's see. Well, um... Oh, he's got plot armor. He can't die, huh? Great, 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 great. Never, ever trust a synth. Oh good, they both have plot armor! Nice. You find out which one is the synth, then I take him to my handlers. Easy peasy, Japanesey. But there's one condition. <laughs> Don't hurt him. Not a scratch, you hear? The one that's on the ground uh, seems pretty innocent. You. You're free to go. Smart choice. To be honest, I never trusted Jack to begin with. Yeah, you would say that. But if you're <laughs> lying to me, you best believe I'm coming back for you. Now come on, Jack. Time to get back in the box like a good little toaster. We're sending your ass factory sealed. Everything went according to plan. I must be good at making them. What? Well, um, what? Never, ever trust a synth. Okay, um... I don't know how that went according to plan for the other Jack, but all right. So what you gotta say about that, Jack? Jack and I had an arrangement. We'd split the work and have twice the free time. So what, he was a defective synth? They wanted to help people? I don't even know. This... <sighs> plates, Darlene! Plates! P plates are a thing! This quest is, this quest is, is ridiculous. Let's yeah. leave. Alright. <laughs> Am I a synth? Well, I've never seen the inside of myself, so I don't know. I... They don't make mirrors for that. Your... Oh, your handler just left. Okay. Yeah, he was just like, I'm out. Gotta go... Oh, actually, we can go free that synth! 
We can get, Darling would certainly appreciate it if we did that. Let's do that. Everything went according to plan. I must be good at making them. Now it's time for our new plan. New plan. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're free. You're welcome. Um, Jack, where'd you go? Jack literally bolted. The <laughs> moment the moment that man was dead, Jack took off. Man, that was such a good plan he had. <laughs> yeah. They're all synths. Everyone, it's, it's all... You I, think you're you think you're very clever, young man, but it's since all the way down. All right. Uh, oh, and now I'm a million feet tall. You're, you were standing oh, on a shelf. Okay, I was confused. I was hey, let's confused. try the terminal here. Someone finally set up this T-mail terminal, huh? Check unread mail. Hey, is this thing on? I sure hope so. I guess if you're reading this, it's working. And if you're not, we'll know soon enough. This being our first T-mail, I won't type anything weird. That way. I know if you don't respond, it's because the terminals aren't working and not because you're avoiding an awkward conversation. Is the reply button not working? Hmm, it looks like the network only goes one way. Not sure what the problem is. I'm almost afraid to touch the thing at this point, seeing as how it's 200 years old. Who knows what else could break? Hopefully you don't mind if I keep sending you messages in the meantime. Great. <laughs> oh, Lord. We have missed a lot of messages. Dad said there was a commune of hippies living in the trailer parks at Fiddler's Green. I'm not sure what a hippie is, but knowing Dad, they're probably going to... Ruin society as we know it. And uh, they did. They died, so, yeah. Dad said he heard some chanting from one of the abandoned houses near Lake... I don't know how to pronounce that. I told him he was hearing things, but you might want to steer clear of that area just in case. Thanks for the heads up. Parsons is scary. I was talking to Dad about the places we he should never deliver mail to, and Parsons has to be the top of the list. I heard it's haunted. Crazy people I can handle. Ghosts? Well, they're usually just lonely. But crazy ghosts? Yeah, I'd stay away. No, it was just immortal, ageless beings. Yeah. Robots doing surgery? I heard there's a couple of robots practicing medicine over by the Eagle Hill settlement. Dad thought it was crazy, of course, but hey, can't be any worse than Doc Crocker. Who the hell's Doc Crocker? I think he's a wandering doctor. Oh. All right, well, she's just been sending all kinds of mail. Error. Oh, yeah, I can't send mail. All right, then. Well, now we get all kinds of T-mail. T-mail? You know all about T-mail, don't you, Valkyrie? Yeah. T stands for tits. Who's the foolish idiot that has decided to attack our settlement? World War One whistle sounds. Forward, men, forward! Yo, who... God, you stop shooting. I shot Hoss again! Yes, you did. I shot Hoss oh, again! Me. I shot Hoss again, and now... Everyone's mad at you because you shot Hoss again. Hoss! He was Come even, on! He was even wearing a traffic cone this time. Uh, Why do I keep accidentally shooting Hoss? I know. And he even had that bright orange traffic cone. Why do I keep so accidentally you shooting Hoss? And you did it anyway. And he's dead again. I'm sorry I shot you again, Hoss. <laughs> Those are gigantic hose clamps. Hoss, where did you find hose clamps that big? <laughs> they don't actually make ones that big. He had to fashion his own, I guess. Holy shit. Get away from my power armor. Mr. Bubbles. From what I know about Jesus, he was a real badass. Had a machine gun and a belt full of bullets for everyone who sand. Um, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Why I'd, didn't I hear about this Jesus? I'd worship that Jesus. I would worship that Jesus. That Jesus is just like, get yourself a bush light. We oh, 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 look how cute. He's looking through the little window. It's oh! <laughs> so fucking cute. All right, all right, all right. Laser rifle up. Okay. Uh, wha um. Uh, is it there? That, that makes sense, actually. You see how the shotgun is a close range weapon, which means long range enemies are your weakness. So you put the biggest fucking bayonet on that gun, and you've covered all bases. See, you say that as a joke, but actually, in Napoleonic Warfare, you wanted the longest bayonet you could get, because then that means you could outreach the enemy and get them to rout. Are we in Napoleonic eras? Well, no, that's why nobody uses long ass bayonets anymore. We may have been blown back to Napoleonic eras. I used to drink a lot of Nuka-Cola as a kid. That's great. And as an adult. I don't care. Basically, I drink a lot of soda. <laughs> I used to do a lot of drugs. I still do, but I used to, too. Ah, uh, rest in peace, Hedgeberg. Oh, I'm being attacked by giant mosquitoes! 
Son of a bitch, my throat! <laughs> Why would somebody build a diorama in which I'm perpetually stuck in this mutilated position? I truly am a modern day Sisyphus! <laughs>